it was so much fun to find the lengths of the objects. Now they had another object that is now you can even find out the width of the objects. So here is an object of an envelope. The envelope's breadth or the width can be estimated. Now all three of them estimated them to be very different different values. Now whose value is correct? Let us measure and check. Now when we measured this, when grandma placed the scale over this, it was exactly 10 centimeters. So Chinu was absolutely correct in estimating the width of this envelope. But how is it possible? She started measuring from 2 up to 12. It came out 10 centimeters. Yes, because Buzz was a bit confused. It was to be explained. And how to explain this? We are taking this scale. Now if we measure from 0, we go up to 10. That will give us 10 centimeters. But if we start from measuring at 2 only, if we start from 2, we have to and we are going up to the last point 12. So we measure it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 centimeters. And so we come to the conclusion that we can do it directly. That is 12 minus the initial value 2 that gave us 10. So here we start if we are not starting from 0, from the value we are starting to the value we are going, we can definitely find out the length and that will give us direct measurement of the object. Now here we get that it as the 12 minus 2 equal to 10 centimeters and we come to the conclusion that width of this envelope that we were measuring is 10 centimeters. Now grandma was too tired sitting at home. She thought why not just go to the market. So, so she took along these kids along with her. This time, the children said that they wanted to buy a pen and a notebook for themselves. So grandma took them to the shop and when they went to the shop, they found the prices written on the different objects. Now here, the pen was costing rupees 8.50 and the notebook was costing rupees 5.25. But what is this 0.50 and 0.25? We are not aware of this. Actually, the pen is costing rupees 8 and 50 pesa, whereas the notebook is costing rupees 5 and 25 pesa. So we come to the conclusion that 0 0.50 means 50 pesa and 0 0.20 means 20 pesa. 50 pesa can be written down as 0 0.50 rupees. So 25 pesa can be written down as 0 0.25. 75 pesa can be written down as 0 0.75. 10 pesa can be written down as 0 0.10. So, what about the 100 pesa? Actually, 100 pesa makes up the 1 rupee. So, 1 pesa is rupees 1 by 100 or we can say that 1 pesa will be equal to rupees 0 